Hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel. And my webcam is not working. What happened there? What happened there? My name is Joel Duggan, and we're playing Satisfactory. If you've been with us all afternoon, then we started off in Minecraft. Uh, but I have a new camera that was working not a few minutes ago. I wonder what's the issue. Give me one second to see if I can sort this out. Uh, I was hoping this was going to be a smooth transition. It was working just a few seconds ago. I don't think it's off. It was off. That is strange. I have it set to not turn off. It doesn't feel warm. Huh. I don't know what happened. I It was working in the starting soon screen, like before I started up the stream. The camera was on. So I don't know what the issue might be. I'm just going to check something here. We'll check that it's all... Yeah, looks like it's all where it should be. I don't know what happened. Okay. Weird. First day uh, camera hiccups. Yeah, uh, that's going to be a problem if it's not going to stay on for more than a couple hours with the spawn chunks because we often record for a good couple hours and I stream for longer than two hours very often. Um, we were playing Satisfactory all week and we're going to continue to do so. I had this save open this morning, the Devastator save. I had it open for 90 minutes, uh, a little bit longer. I had a crash test here. Uh, now, I wasn't live when I did it, so I don't know whether my my computer is getting overrun and it's a computer crashing the game. Um, Unreal shouldn't be using OBS, I don't think, So or vice versa. So I don't know what the problem is. So we're going to try to work on this Devastator save. And uh, if it crashes a lot, then I'll just go back to the uh, the save that I started yesterday, which is just a, a brand new save. So the plan, I guess, is to decide what we're going to do uh, with the um, the trains coming in, and also uh, look for some hard drives and get some um, information on what we might want to do for rotors and stators because I'm currently using a lot of steel and I think I might want to try and forego the coal that's going into steel and see what's happening. So right now we've got two trains going out of the four. Uh, we've got um, Bone Crusher and does anybody know why these go green? Like, they're green for no reason? Like, I don't understand. I've never seen that before. And I don't know what it means. Are they not functioning correctly, maybe? But there's a couple of things that just have, like, green highlights on them. Yeah, like, there's another one there. It's not like I've made it green. It's just whatever reason, it's bright green. I'm not searching for anything. I don't think I've highlighted anything down here. Uh, anyway, um, we can at least Take a look at, um, we could go up and try to fix up the Caterium and see if we can't get that belted down to the other train station. Um, I've got a funny feeling that it might be better for us to take, to turn, a tr turn this area into his train station. That could be probably more worth it. Um... The other thing is Mercer Spheres and hard drives. So I don't know. 
other than like the hard drives I've already found. I'm not sure what the best place to go. Probably the Spire Coast. Search for hard drives. I think I, there's a couple more hard drives over in this area, so maybe that's what we'll do. That's a that's actually a really pretty area to check out as well. Plus, we've got the radar towers. I could maybe I should make another radar tower out there. That might be a a decent idea. Anyway, we'll jump on a train, and we'll just kick off doing that just to kind of get get the thought process going uh should i take this train or should i take the construction train maybe i should take the construction train that way if i need anything i'll have it nearby right The more I look at it, the more I like the idea of having that train up there. I just don't know if I want one or if I want two. I think it would make sense to have an in and an out. That's a good reminder, actually. The uh, September promotion is still on. You can get a tier one for one month or three months at 25% off. And uh, for the next few days, Twitch is actually uh, adding bonus bits. So if you use 300 bits or more, then Twitch will add an extra 10% on top of that. Just gonna pull ahead for a second and then we'll go on to the next one. So we've got a construction station pretty far out and I was working on the railroad to try and get it closer to the original base. Sweet Sandy with 300 bits. Train ride bits. Thanks very much. Twitch added 45, 30, and 15 on top of that. So there was 30 bits and 15 bonus bits on top of Sweet Sandy's cheer. Thanks very much, Sandy. I need to do more research on the roundabouts before I can um, move this one but I very much want to move it. Wonder what height would be good. I feel like the height that we have that bridge would probably be the right height. Yeah, there's not a smooth transition anymore between player control and uh, and the train. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to use our little handheld thing, look for hard drives. And I think they are kind of over this area here. So I'm just going to ru run the trains. Let's see what we can see. How much did 1.0 break your build? Uh, not very much. We only lost a couple of nodes in the rocky desert and uh, added a couple that we had to, you know, consider collecting. But other than that, it was not a big deal. The problems that we're having is not a save related, like a gameplay related problem. 
The problem that we're having is that um, sometimes we'll play for two hours, no crash. Other times we will play for two hours, like for 10 minutes and it'll crash every 10 minutes, which is a pain. Yeah, I don't know what all the green things are for. Does anybody in chat know what the green... Is, are those like resources that have been tapped? Is that what that is? Because like those have been tapped, but they're not green. I don't... I don't know. I'm going to start to head north. You think the highlight is a bug? Rachel Oxley, okay. And try to stay high here and grab a couple of these slugs as we go. Being as we have all the all the goodies. I do have the creatures set to retaliate, so as long as I don't bug them, they will not bug me. Flower was a slug for a second. Thought there was a hard drive over this way. Be a yellow slug. Generally speaking, there's something to be protected when there's these guys around. I think I hear a Mercer Sphere or something. Maybe it's just a slug? Oh, there it is. I like that tree. ripples through our temples. Our veins nearly touch. He is shy. Notes shall be taken and played. From a certain perspective, your brain looks like it is processing language, but there is no auditory data. If you are hearing voices that are not mine, this is no cause for concern. It is a common side effect of extreme pressure and stress. <laughs> Summer Sloop. I'll take that. It's actually really cool to be up close to these guys. You don't realize how big they are. All the creatures actually look really good in the 1.0 release. Uh, Rachel is working on milestones with no full automation, currently on halfway through tier two. Very cool. Yeah, we, we started a new save when we were dealing with the crashes. Um, but hopefully today we will not have that problem. Man, this area looks so pretty. I really wish that um, I had more of an excuse to build over here, but I don't need oil right now. So maybe this is where we'll do all of our plastic and stuff. I'm tempted just to bring up the satisfactory map and see if there's any hard drives over here I can maybe head towards, save ourselves some time. see here I think the last time I was here I was looking at hard drives uh, yeah I've got it set to retaliate so if I hit them or if they get like spooked or something in game, then they'll um, they'll retaliate. Oh, yeah, there should be a couple of hard drives. I would have walked right by one. Surely. Well, let's head out to that one and see. Although I guess in my game I might have already got that one. Nope, does not look like it. We'll head out that way. 
Need a little bit more momentum than that, though. Like, you almost have flight mode with this biofuel in the jetpack. Like, I can't believe I'm going to make this jump. There's the hard drive down there. Oh, it's free too. Nice. Any other goodies? Don't see it. Cool. We'll just plop a little marker down. I feel like I'm using the wrong stamp for that. That looks like the one I've been using. Cool. Uh, this didn't beep, I don't think. Did anybody hear that? Like, actually... Like, I'm not actually scanning for hard drives. It doesn't seem like it's actually working. Yeah, I didn't see it on there. Uh, where's the next one? Back down by the river, there's two. So there's two down here. I'm gonna not carry that around, because it is annoying oh. hmm can I stand on this probably not Can I get it in midair? No, every time I hit the thing, I, uh... It's alright, we'll just use the pillar. Discover the entire map and all the milestones. Research those trees in the man. All legit. No AGS? What do you mean AGS? I know where I'm doing content creation, I find that I just prefer the faster way to do things. Man, this is such a cool area. Oh, advanced game settings, yeah. I wouldn't call them cheats, I would call them advanced game settings. And advanced game settings doesn't really... Um, that's a weird summer sloop. Usually they're a lot easier to, uh, easier to see. This was actually a really good trip. 
grabbing all kinds of goodies. Oh, I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I don't have any more. Oh no, I do have explosives. Sweet. Just don't want to anger the things. Get mad? I don't think they got mad. Fly mode and god mode are cheats. Well, yeah, if you use them. But if you want to use them for content creation, then I don't think that that's cheating. We have the same discussion on the Spawn Chunks podcast. We talk about uh, different things in Minecraft that you can do and how people call them cheats when really it's just like, it's just a different way to play the game. I mean, look at Fluxo. Fluxo plays the whole game in, um, I think, creative mode. Oh yeah, if you're working on the achievements, then sure. You don't want to don't have AGS on. Look at all the slugs. I mean, I'm not going to click them all, but where's my... Oh, I got way off base. I need to go that way. Oh, it is working. This way. I think that's the. Oh, there it is. There. I wonder what that sound is. I hear it all the time, and I feel like it's like your factory isn't working or something. When you get in range of it. What I should be doing, silly, is researching the hard drive we have. That sound is ambient noise? It's a terrible ambient noise. Ten minutes on the clock. Oh, I've already got this one. Okay. I did not have that marked down. Any other goodies? Nothing. Okay. We should put that down then. Oh, I did. Okay. Gonna check that. Uh, that is not on the satisfactory calculator map. A different location. The two on the satisfactory calculator map are over here. Just gonna make it. What? The amount of slugs over here is ridiculous. Finally got the SAM in the Dimensional Depot set up with the miner feeding SAM into it. Just need the power augmenter to close the loop right on. Yeah, we've got the Dimensional Depot now too. I 
That's kind of pretty. More stuff. hearing things outside of the cave as well. Would it be up here? Some geysers. see it. Oh, there it is over there. I know I've not been to that one. It's supposed to be two up here. Man, that's pretty. Holy crap. Oh, radiation. Yikes. Uh, 70 megawatts. I think I can do that. Um, am I near my actual existing power? Not really. No, it's way over there. Okay, uh, let's go with power, biomass. 30, so I'm gonna need three of these. is do I have something to burn? I do. Uh, I should be able to put something in the dimensional depot to ease up on my uh, input so I could cancel that maybe. And I wonder if I could upload something like the slugs, the mercer sphere, and the summer sloop. Freeing up five inventory slots. Then we just throw these in here. else good not really take the free computer all right now we just need to mark it again I always want to click and drag this it's weird Now, where was that other one? Behind me somewhere. In 
the midst of the fog, I would imagine. Down in there, maybe? Hmm. I wonder if the satisfactory calculator is wrong. Not enough space. What do I not need? Leaves. There are definitely a lot of pretty views. I didn't realize I was standing on that slug. Oh, there it is down there. I may have already got this one. Nope. Jeez. It's standing right over me. Surface genetic sampling indicates this freighter may have come from a planet run by apes. <laughs> I'm all about the easy ones. Can't complain about that. Alright, another marker. So I think that is most of what's been marked out here. There's a third one on my way back to the train. And it looks like it's on the ground. So do west if I have not already got it. Probably right in there. I think three is probably decent. Or four, if I can get a fourth. Not enough space. Man, the dimensional depot when you are out exploring is ridiculously good. Man, research is complete. We can check out to see what the hard drive says. Uh, wrong button. Um, I think it was, that was the other one we had. So, copper rotor is... Copper sheets and screws. Not a fan. I was hoping for a steel rotor. Alternate quartz is... Nitric acid and quartz. Dissolved silica. Wow. I've never even seen dissolved silica in the game. Wow. A little hard to see with the map. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, alternative quartz, uh, alternative copper. So copper rotor and quartz purification. Neither of those are of any interest to me. We'll do another hard drive. And continue to head west. Should be right through here, I think. The slugs really stand out. If you can go around at night, man, you can get all kinds of stuff. Look at the water. They did a really good job with the water in this game.
And of course, the power slugs stack in their kinds, so you can just keep on stacking it up, and then I can take it out when I get back to uh, to the main main base, which is great. South. Probably got this one. If it's this close to something I've already built, probably have it already. Folks, if you need slugs in this game and you're anywhere near the Spire Coast, like five minutes and you will be laughing. You think they added more slugs? I think they added a lot more slugs. It's cool. It's a, mo it's a lot more fun. Uh, I feel like it's right here. Oh, there it is there. I think that's a decent hard drive run. Uh, grab a few more things if there is anything lying around. Cool. Now I just drop a marker and we're good. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, it's a little bit in a different position, I think, than where it was before. At least according to the, the satisfactory calculator. Mm -mm. Right. I think that is at least all the ones they seem to say are nearby. There's one more, but that's going to be up on a cliff somewhere. So I'm going to head back to the train, I think. I think is this way. Yeah. Yeah, the different levels in here really makes it very cool. I can drop something simple. Maybe. Mercer Sphere. I haven't really been looking for those. We need some for more of the um, up, uh, upgrades. Where did the slug go? I can, I can scan for Mercer Spheres, yeah. Where did the slug go that I just picked up? There it is. Yeah, man, the, the dimensional um, depot for inventory clearing when you're exploring is really invaluable. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. This is a huge area.
Yeah, that's a really strange ambient noise. That doesn't make any sense at all. It's not natural. It feels like a factory. I'll grab that Mercer Sphere on the way home, though. Sounds like a boost from a jetpack, you're right. This is the end of the train line I was trying to send up to the hill there. Just could never figure out the best way to do it. Very cool through here. One of the main reasons I wanted to have the train line go through this area is just because it's such a cool thing to look at. I feel like I've maybe overdone it on the um, the signals, though. I don't know that we need this many. I should also do is actually before I head back to Devastator I should save the game. I know there's been some auto saves but just to be sure Now, I don't know whether any of the crashes have been related to saves or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure. That is wild how cool that looks. The water specifically. Yeah, so a roundabout height, this would be too low, but I feel like this level would be would be good. Or really, I should think about what level I raise the train station to and maybe make it the same. The idea here was to have like multi-level, multi-level train stations. Now we'll see if I can actually get out of the train. No, oh, we're okay this time. I have to say, outside of any of the uh, technical glitches, the game itself seems to be running pretty smoothly. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of hitches. The graphics look good. Everything seems to be going okay. 
um, I think um, when there's an autosave, there's a teeny tiny little hitch, but nothing crazy. I can get rid of that too. Ugly. Yeah, like that noise. Why? It just, it's like miscommunication. Not good. So you can put stuff into the Dimensional Depot. Can you get things out of it? Do that in your inventory. So if I wanted to put some pipes in there and some wire in there and then grab like my Mercer Spheres and the Summer Slip. That comes down instantaneously and then I can just do that. That's great. It's really cool. I don't want the Mercer Spheres to take up a slot though. So can I can I remove Does they do they take up a slot now? Or are they just there because I had never put anything in there before? I also need plates because I put all my plates away. I don't remember what I was doing that I needed much. So I've got 184. Hard drive scan has been completed. Scan the hard drive. Which one did we get? Um, I think it's going down the line here. Steel frame pipes and that and fused quartz crystal. Coal and quartz crystal. That's not great either. Seems like you can pin some slots, so maybe I overwrite those that aren't pinned? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I know that this is full. What else would I want in the Dimensional Depot? Plates, concrete, probably reinforced iron plates would be something we'd want in there. Imagine all the things that you build, like, belts out of. So... Plates, reinforced iron plates, steel, and... Um, beams and aluminum. Now, under here, one of these costs seven. Yeah, so seven and 103 is a weird number. Upload speed, 25%, or stack increase. Ooh, which do we think would be better, speed or volume? I haven't actually used it yet. I feel like speed might be the way to go. What do we think, chat? And yes, Sandy, I need to take a break. You're right. All right, well, think about that while I'm on break. I'm going to jump on a train. I'm going a little round, roundabout. Speed is usually nice, says Meadow. I will take that into advisement. Uh, Deficitor hub construction... Megatron, Devastator Hub, Construction 2. Saved. Cool. Folks, I take a break about once an hour on stream. You get to ride the brake train. Please feel free to tell your friends about the stream. 
We'll be back in five or six minutes.
All right. That seemed to go smoothly. No complaints. Nope. I forgot to turn off the drive. Turn off. Also got something. OBS was weird. For a second there, <laughs> it's like a little autosave. How are we doing for hard drives? Oh, good timing. Sweet. I should look to see what other alternate recipes we have. I wish we had, I know we've got the codex, but I wonder if there's a way to actually narrow it down. Caterium wire and molded steel pipe. Um, so those normally just get made in a structure. Five to five. And caterium wire is a no. So we'll try one more. And in the codex... Um, I don't remember what button that is. C N O. There we go. Parts, equipment, uh, motors. Rotor. So I do have the steel rotor. And we were planning on doing that. What I don't have is steel wire. And I don't have steel. I don't have I don't have a way to make steel without coal. There's a there's a fourth recipe. We're using solid steel ingot. This is the one we're doing. There's another one, I think, that eliminates um, coal. I want to say. No, I guess there isn't. Solid steel ingot. No, oh, I thought there was a way to get coal out of this. Oh no, it's a steel pipe recipe probably. Yeah, so uh, what was I? I guess it was iron only rotors was the thing that Total Eclipse was talking about. And that is on the rotor recipe, steel, that could be iron only, but it's a lot of screws. This could be iron only if we had iron wire. Oh, we do. We do have iron wire. I'm just making it out of copper at the moment. One to two. Five to nine. Yeah, I may have to rethink the way that our copper factory is pumping out all that, all that copper. Maybe the thing to do would be to bring in some extra iron. Punish props, how's it going? What's up? Good to see you, man.
Yeah, so we do have iron wire. So that's good. So I could make this without any copper. Uh, and then motors. Oh, stators, sorry. That means stators could also be done without any without any copper. Yeah. So on my production line, what I've done is I'm using a lot of this copper for stators and rotors. And the copper in our stators and rotors factory, this is the bottleneck. Like we just we just don't seem to have enough copper to do the things that we need. So I should really look at how to get some iron making wire. We've got all this iron back here. This stuff is being used in our iron facility, as is that. Yeah, where's the rocky desert stuff going? So that's going to North Lake Smelting, reinforced iron plates. Those are not being used at all. Those are the north resources. No, west resources, right. And then the ones down here are heavy modular frames, rod production. Right. Oh, my cam died again. What is going on? It doesn't feel warm. I don't know why it keeps on shutting off. I've got it set to not turn off. Like I've I found that setting and said, don't, don't do it. Um, it shut off when I was on break because I thought that maybe it was looking for a face, you know, because like I wasn't in the room. I was gonna go get a glass of water and stuff. Um, if you find a computer alt recipe, do I have to, uh, the tier unlocked with computers first to make them? Yes, because you need the manufacturer to make them. So even if you have the recipe, well, what I would do is if you found that recipe, don't choose anything, just leave it in your hard drive, um, leave it in your hard drive library, leave it in uh, this section here. Because what happens is now that you've got, like now that I have this, the Caterium wire and the molded steel pipe, um, it won't, um, it won't come up again so i can leave these here and i will be getting better and better hard drives as i go on right so really it's only the ones at the back and i just don't know how to handle that stuff at the back it seems kind of silly to grab these iron nodes back here and run them like they're already set up but to have that go all the way down to the other end to where those those um those guys are and then come all the way back it seems a little strange so i'm kind of wondering how the best way to do that would be i guess i could set up like a separate bus i don't know because I've got all the constructors set up. Right? We've got all these guys. And they're making um, cable. Not cable, wire. And it's 15 in to 30 out. What's the recipe? Iron wire. 12.5 to 22.5. Is it the same ratio?
Was it 15? Not quite. So it's a little bit more expensive, but there's a lot more wire around than there is copper. Or not copper. Um, iron around than there's copper. I mean, the other way that we could make enough copper, I think, would be to add those refineries down below. We've got these refineries here that we haven't hooked up yet. They're already built. But they're not hooked up. And that copper has to come from somewhere. I'm trying to remember exactly where that was. I had that in the sheet. Mm -mm -mm. That is in... Right, there's an impure untapped node. And then this copper, one of the copper nodes in the in the south. Yeah, I needed to increase that refinery. 250% before, before refinery bay five can be operational, right. So I need to increase the output on that to 600. It'll go, it'll be an extra 120. And I think that's what goes into these is 120. 15 per minute times eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Man, research is done. Run a train to get more iron. Alternate insulated crystal oscillator, bleh, and alternate fine black powder. Well, I feel like the molded steel pipe might come in handy. I'm not really worried about those. Hopper rotor. I would say out of all of these, the one with the, that seems less likely for me to do. And so does that. So I'm going to reroll. I don't know about the black powder, but I'm going to reroll this one. Cause I just, I know the plan is to not use screws in the rotors. And the plan is to definitely not use uh, nitric acid in quartz. So I'm going to rescan this hard drive usable once. Inventory slots or tempered caterium petroleum coke. Well, we might as well select a reward. I'm okay with more junk. 1-to-1-to-2-to-1-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-2-to-
alternate steel frame. The rescans don't seem to be as good as the originals. I did I don't find. Run a train to get the iron? Yeah, I could do that. That's possible actually. Um we're already doing steel frames. Twenty five to twelve is eighteen. Five to three, 25 to 18, roughly the same ratio. You get a little bit more, but it's not great. All right, let's rescan that one. Well, there we go. Um, aluminum ingot. Aluminum beam. Interesting. So I could make those out of aluminum instead of steel. I'm not making those at all right now, I don't think. Well, I am, just not at this factory. Okay, I don't know about that, so we'll just leave that for now. Yeah, where would we... So all this copper could be then sent to do something else. I'm not sure what we would need it for. It happens at the same area. Every time I pass that section. Happens at the same spot. It, it's got to be like something in the environment, like a plant or a, something that makes the noise. All right. I think we decided that we wanted to do um, speed, upload speed. Confirmed. Dimensional upload speed increased. All of the kinetic and thermal energy released during matter conversion has now been repurposed to aid with dimensional shifting, allowing several parts to pass through for free. The window is beautiful. Have you tried making the door? I assure you that would be a most unhealthy action for the pioneer to take. Hmm. They're actually having conversations back and forth now. So we need more Mercer spheres. That seems to be the bottleneck. Uh, the good news is I've got lots of the uh, SAM fluctuators, so that's good. And I think my summer sloop was also... Oh, I got all that. Okay, cool. They're not in alphabetical order, which is weird. Do you think it would be? I pin it and unpin it, does it stay at the top? No. Hmm. Yeah, they were in the order that I put them in there, which is strange. The downside with alt recipes, build new or rebuild, yeah. I don't think I need to rebuild, it's just that I feel like that recipe is more. So, we get more out of it, right? If I put um, 30 out, then instead of, it's, it's more there in, um, I guess I would need more machines. The kind of thing I might end up underclocking.
So I feel like even with the additional copper, I don't think we had enough. Right? So 740 wire and I need 2000. So that's even with the five, that's not even hooked up yet. We're getting 600 there and then 240 there. So 600 and 612, that's 15, 1740. And this needs, well, it needs 1500. Oh no, this is going down here. This needs 2000 wire for staters. Do I have an alternate for staters? I don't remember. It uses Caterium. I wonder if that's worth it. Uh, but less pipes? Yes, less pipes. That's true, that's true, that's true. I don't think pipes were our bottleneck. I feel like we had enough pipes. 500 steel pipes. And 750. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. Does not exist. Constructors and founders aren't coal. Uh, right. Because this is being split. 500 going that way and then 270 are going this way. I don't know how I did that split. I'd have to look that up. Um, don't have 750 pipes. Currently open level available is 270. You need another 480. So staters, the alternate recipe for that. That would also uh, um, alleviate our copper draw as well because then we wouldn't have 2000 wire that would need to go in there so i'm trying to make uh an output of five rotors per minute no staters 250 so i'm trying to do 25 Assemblers? No, 50 assemblers. 50 assemblers, my gosh. And 50, so 100 assemblers for rotors and stators. All of this is to go towards like turbo motors. And I need. Yeah, 240 and 240. Well, I mean, I'm making an extra 10. I probably don't need. I could do 48 instead of 50. That's fine. Um, so 50 assemblers. What would that look like if I was doing the other recipe? And that's quick wire and steel pipe. Because we do have quick wire like right here. So 16, 60, and 8. Just out of curiosity. If I put that here. So let's go. What was that called? That was called quick wire stator. And 
don't know how many assemblers it would be. And it's 16 steel pipes per minute and 60 quick wire. So 16, it's only one more steel pipe and then 60 quick wire. And it outputs eight. And our goal was 240 or 250 to have a little bit of extra. And so that's only 60 machines. So it reduces our power as well. We only have to do 60 machines. And then we've got 750, no, wrong number, 16 times 60. So it's 960 steel pipes. Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. 240 is the goal. Thirty. I knew I got that wrong. So we need thirty machines to be putting out two forty. Cam is dark again. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm really sorry. Thanks for the heads up, Sandy. Um, all I can do is turn it back off and on again. Um, just let me check to see if it's hot. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not warm. Like, it's a little teeny bit warm, but not, like, a lot. Um, Punish Props, you're in chat. Uh, if you have a second. Do you know much about the Sony ZV-E10? Does it have any overheating tendencies? I mean, I could probably Google this pretty quick, too. Just curious to see if there's something I could I could change quickly. Although... I'm not going to be able to change much um, with the uh, the camera mounted. So, um, just see if there's something easy, just to ease my mind that it's not something wrong with the camera. nothing there it's hard because you end up with people that are not necessarily giving you the right information it could be the power supply but i don't that's brand new i don't necessarily want to stop it turning off from overheating if that's what's happening because i don't want to damage the camera There seems to be a good list of videos saying here's a bunch of problems that are happening with the Sony. So yeah, I'll look into that after stream, I guess. That's not great. It's funny that Tom Buck, who I follow on YouTube, who seems to be a really good um, video uh, person, um, and I really like his content, he's, he just recommended it um, as like the best option for it but I, I couldn't find a video where he set it up and like went over the settings so I don't know um, but uh, anybody in chat feel free to either tag me 
or re re redeem like a highlighted message like Sandy did there to give me a heads up if the cam goes off again. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, sorry it's not as smooth, but it means first stream with it. I, I, I'd rather have this happen now and know to expect it for Monday uh, when I do the Spawn Chunks podcast because we record the bonus show, the render distance, sometimes is an hour 45 altogether, hour, like two hours. So I don't want the, the camera to go off during that time. Uh, okay, so it was eight rotors a minute. Uh, I need 240. You divide those two numbers together, you get 30 assemblers. So then you get 16 times 30 equals 480. Which I think is what I have pumping out. And then we've got 60 times 30, which is 1800. I think I can get 1800 quick wire. So up here, we've got it's 480 coming out of there. Floor 1A, 1B. 400 pipes to encase industrial beams. So it's 770. Didn't do very good notes there. I'm not exactly sure what is going to what. The steel pipes are going to motors. I don't think I have an alternate motor recipe. No, just the basic rotors and stators. And I don't know that the other recipes for motors are any better. No. No, the basic motor is probably the best straightforward recipe. I think I was always using the steel rotor recipe, yeah. Yep. So... Hmm. The 1500 is probably pretty easy to do. Uh, if I did that, we do have a quick wire. Uh, we do have a, what do you want to call it? Um, Caterium node right outside the base. So go down here. There's a pure Caterium node right there. And so that. I need a constructor. Twelve and sixty out. So I need to be a uh, quick wire. And then 60. Out. And I need 1800. So that's 30 again. Oh, come on. Thirty constructors that would be putting out eighteen hundred quick wire. And 
Then we just have to figure out what the pure node is doing. Or Caterium. 250, that would be 600 per minute, right? Yep, overclocked but unused, 600 per minute. And so now I just need, I mean, 30 times 12 is not 600, I don't think. 360, so that's plenty. That is wild that we can get half of our criterium at the base and still have uh, room to do that. That is probably a better idea because it reduces the pipes. I still don't think we have enough steel. I still don't think we have enough steel to do it because we need 480 steel and I don't know where that's coming from. I wouldn't have to merge the 270. Did we have an alternative steel pipe recipe that boosted the output? Not in this, it was in the assembler, I think. Did it require um, concrete? Or maybe it was in the MAM. Yeah. Ingots and um, concrete. We've got lots of that. And that goes to extra steel pipes. So five ingots, five steel pipes at the cost of extra power or thirty to twenty. So we loot yeah, so that we'll we would get thirty percent more. I am still here. The camera shuts off from time to time, but I'm still here. How's it going, Cosmic? Lost in the math, yeah. I feel like that's probably the best way to go. I feel like we could probably do some assemblers for steel pipe. What I have to figure out is which steel pipe floors are assigned to uh, so 1B and 2B, that is the question. Hopefully I labeled them. Let's find out. Extra constructor steel pipe steel ingots min maximum. They do not look to be labeled. I'm sure A and B is probably left and right. And these look like they go this way, but we're not making any of the encased beams because our concrete is off because we don't have aluminum going. So that's why. These are not going because they're not getting sunk. And these are moving, but only because they have an attachment to an awesome sink, I think. I think these two both were the ones that I had allocated for motors and rotors. Or um, stators and rotors. There they are there. And they go down. And they go... Weirdly, they go there. And these ones go underneath. 
and then they come up over here, I think. Plan was to have uh, those go to a factory here. They're currently getting sunk. <laughs> Hi, Joel's face. Yes, uh, for now. Um, it's a little dark now that the sun's gone down a bit. It's not bad. Like, it's still a clear shot, I think. I wouldn't want it to be too bright, especially where the game's dark. But I'm not really sure what's happening with the Sony um, switching off. Um, it's probably like a heat thing, but I like I don't know what's too hot and what's not, right? So we could take some of the steel coming up here um, and add to get more. I guess the problem, of course, is that we have this really cool looking floor. So I'd have to figure out what I would want to do for that because it would be, what would it require? Oh, it was in the man, wasn't it? That's what it was. Um, let's go back here. Pipe. Yeah, 50 per minute. So I'd have to figure out what exactly I have for steel ingot output, which should be listed constructors 20 floor 1b and floor 2b oh i see floor 1 and 2b are just the 20. i thought there's more than 20 here there's 20 on each floor Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's 20 here and 20 below. I think I've got to run some numbers. I think, I think. Yeah, like it's just, it's right in this area. Weird. Um, if that's the case... We would also need to find out where we would have spare concrete. It shouldn't be too hard. Because, I mean, there's concrete right there. And that's next to, I think, the steel. And then, and that's the normal untapped. And then this one is being, uh, no, that's being used for something else. Limestone two. Wet concrete production, aluminum, yeah. So it's going specifically into limestone. So I should change that on our map. I wonder if that got lost in a crash. It is... And it is at 80%. That's being used. Uh, that one is claimed, and I don't know what that's being sent to. Wet, oh, that's the other wet concrete, right. So then we've got this one. Cells refinery unused. So that's already hooked up. That's coming straight underneath the whole thing. 
Yeah, okay. So I think what we should do is House of Meza. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. What we should do is make a note on the rotors and stators. So this needs to be alternate quick wire stators. Leave a little note for ourselves. And will be changed. And then we have to do quick wire going into there and pipes going into there. And I don't think I'm making any cable. So that'll be good. It'll free up some wire for cable. That'll be good. So we'll just take this up here for now. Quick wire. Put it, say, here. I'm all paranoid that my camera is going to shut off again. Uh, one download is okay. Uh, knock on wood. Uh, we had a couple of streams of like three or four hours, and there's only one, maybe two crashes. We've been streaming satisfactory for two hours now, no crashes. But then yesterday it was crashing every 10 minutes. So I couldn't tell you what the issue is. I think from what I saw online, it might be something like a shader cache, but I don't know the technical backgrounds of it. So. I'm kind of waiting for the satisfactory devs to come into the into the office next week and maybe put out some patches that fix some technical bugs for people. Because I, I know people that are playing on uh, brand new saves uh, that have um, that have been crashing every 15 minutes. Cosmic in chat has been experiencing that for sure. So I think that's the plan. Uh, I think that Caterium can be easily belted up. Pretty much crash feed. That's great, house. That's great, Meza. Glad to hear it. Yeah, there's the Caterium there. So I've already sort of got it ugly and wrapped in. There's the crash. No sooner did I talk about it than it happens. Well, we haven't changed anything in the game for a while, so that's fine. Uh, I need to wrap up the stream anyway. It's probably a good good time to go. Probably a good time to go. Uh, let's flip this over here. That's while we boot back up. So yeah, I think we can... Uh, probably map out an alternative for the quick wire and that's going to free up a lot of this cable that I, a wire that I was trying to send this way so that will be I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all that wire I may not need it um, I haven't finished that wire factory so that could be good too that could be good too uh, anyway uh, I'm going to take that as a cue to not push my luck today on stream and have it be uh, a problem. I've also been live since one, so it's probably a good time for me to wrap up. But thanks ever so much for being here, folks. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to try to send you off to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Let me just see who's live. 
If anybody has any recommendations, by all means, let me know. But I usually send everybody over to Total Eclipse if they're live. Total might be taking a break. He's been not live all day. Um, I'm Kibitz is live. Oh, no, Total's live. We'll send everybody over to Total. Uh, I really enjoy Total's content. I think you will, too. And um, I am going to be live again potentially Tuesday. I have to do the Spawn Chunks on Monday, and tomorrow's my day off. So uh, you can expect another satisfactory stream on Tuesday, probably. Uh, 1 o'clock Atlantic is normally when I start, but I've been trying to inch out a little bit more and start at noon just because it gets me out of the office sooner for the day and over to the gym. So... Uh, you can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts on your favorite podcast app. They're free. One's about Minecraft. The other one is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. Uh, the last episode of the Citadel Cafe actually had Johnny, my co-host on the Spawn Chunks, on the show to talk about uh, the Rings of Power, which I haven't caught up on. I've got an episode of that I have to watch over at dinner tonight, so that'll be fun. Uh, you can listen to uh, those podcasts on YouTube as well. Uh, there's a video component to uh, the Spawn Chunks, and uh, that's why I've got this new camera. So you can expect to see, uh, not this shot, but I'm going to hook it up to my Mac and have a, a better shot on the, um, the Spun Chunks podcast. You can uh, follow me on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And of course, check out Patreon where you can support and uh, join the Discord. It's only $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee, keeps me streaming. Uh, Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for the help modding today. Uh, House of Meza, great to see you. Uh, thanks to the folks that dropped the bits and to Twitch for the extra bonus bits. Uh, it is September, so if you're looking to support your favorite streamers, remember that uh, Twitch subs are 25% off. Uh, I've got everything linked to my Discord, so Twitch sub, Prime sub, uh, and uh, Patreon. They all lead to the same Discord, so if you want to hang out with us in between streams, you absolutely can. Uh, I will see folks Tuesday. Enjoy the time with Total Eclipse. Bye for now. <laughs>